Hi guys, Sean from StudyFlix here. Today we're going to be bisecting an angle. It's really important, it's nice and straightforward, and it comes up all the time in different instructions, so let's give it a go. So this is what our final product is going to look like once our angle is nicely bisected. And just in case you're wondering what a bisector actually is, a bisector is just a line which divides another line or an angle in half. Um, so now that we've defined that key term, we're just going to start the construction. Okay, so here's our original angle before it was bisected. And the first step of this construction is just going to be to swing a nice arc from the point Y, which is going to intersect both the line YX here and also YZ. Uh, so we have two new points here of um, intersection. And from both of these points, we're going to swing again with our compass um, somewhere out into the middle of the angle like this and make sure both these arcs cross. And as you can see, we've got a third intersect now. And this is actually our point of bisection. So if we just join that back to the point Y, uh, we have our actual bisector, the line of bisection. And that's our angle bisected. So we have two equal angles in here now. And just in case you're wondering why this works, it's because we've actually created two congruent triangles on our construction. Uh, so we have two equal sides here, which we ensured with our compass. Uh, so both these sides here are equal. And then we have the common side, which is the bisector. And actually another side here, which we haven't drawn, so it's a bit invisible, but we could draw it here with dotted lines. And as you can see, both of those sides are equal as well. Um, so that's it for this construction. And I hope you enjoyed the video.